everyone encounters a minor medical situation during their lives. A cut, a sprain, a skin rash. But there are times when these minor situations explode into full-blown medical emergencies. Our next guest, Brittany, proves you should never take these situations lightly. I had hoped that this was all a bad dream. I was going to go do a fun event, not realizing that I would be blind 24 hours after. I did a mud run earlier this year. I was super excited. It was a big 5K mud run. I crawled through mud pits, jumped over walls full of mud. I had mud all over my clothes, in my hair, and you could taste the dirt. I sensed that something was off. My eyes were hurting. My hands were covered in mud, and I had no way to even clear out my eyes. By the end of the run, it was burning, very painful. It immediately started flushing my eyes out. I lay down. There was so many tears coming out of my eyes that there was puddles on the bed. When I woke up the morning after, it was just shock. My eye was very swollen, very matted, and I realized that I was losing vision. I immediately had to go and see doctors and specialists. They told me I had several corneal abrasions. Things were so severe, the doctor needed to take culture swabs probably 10 times. I was on six of the strongest eye drops. 24 hours from doing the med run, my eye was completely white. I realized that I was blind in my left eye. For nine days, I stayed in the trauma unit near the OR because the doctors said, your eye is going to peripherate, and the actual contents of my eye were going to come out. My cornea was literally melting. Secondary to my injuries, I have to wear special sunglasses. I had irritation to brightness. I would have many obstacles driving. I struggled with knowing that I may not ever see my daughter the way I saw her the day before the med run. The doctors are saying that the only way for me to get my eyesight back is to get a cornea transplant, but there is great risk. If things go wrong, I won't have an eye at all. We sent Brittany to our friend and colleague, Dr. Carrie Seal, to see if there was hope for her damaged eye. Hi, Brittany. Hi. Carrie Seal. When I examined Brittany, it was quite clear that she had had a severe infection. It appears to me that the inflammation was sufficiently severe that all the layers of the remaining cornea have fused together. Her body had responded appropriately to the infection by creating scar tissue. The scar is what blurs the vision, and normally for a scar, we would do a transplant. But when the cornea is disinflamed, the likelihood of a success of a transplant goes down. I want to get a better idea of how thin the thinnest part of your cornea is, the pressure in the eye, and I want to see if we can do surface imaging. We performed a whole constellation of tests on Brittany's eyes to determine whether it made sense to consider a corneal transplant. Because her eye is still somewhat inflamed and she's quite young, it's not clear whether or not a corneal transplant can help you. Please welcome Brittany and Rob. We're also joined by Dr. Terry Estia. And Brittany, first of all, I'm, I'm sorry you've been through all this. We think of doing a mud run as something to look forward to and wonderful. But obviously, a lot of times when you have an injury to your vision, you, you can't really tell. But just looking at you and looking at all those photos, obviously everyone in the audience saw how much you went through. Right now, out of your bad eye, are you able to see anything? What is your vision like right now? I'm able to see a little bit of color. We did some tests, but mostly I see just white. And so you're in this difficult situation now, and Dr. Seal, thank you for seeing Brittany. You alluded to a lot of things in the tape, but where she is now, what hope is there for her in regaining your vision? The cornea is the only transparent part of the body, and so it's therefore doesn't have the privilege of having blood vessels usually that protect it with the immune system, and that's why your infection became so bad so fast. And wanting to replace a new cornea with all the blood vessels that have now grown in and helped to lose the transparency, they will recognize the new transplant and have a higher risk for rejecting it. So we like to wait maybe another at least six months in your case for the eye to become more quiet. And Dr. Tyrone McCall, who is one of my ex-fellows and is an excellent surgeon in Dallas, 
could help her out. I also offered if she wishes to come back, I could do the transplant here, or we could even create a hybrid um, environment where maybe we do the transplant and have doctors over there help her out. But the other thing that happened during all this is I know the two of you were planning to get married. And this has put a hold on that, right? Yes, we're engaged. We were trying to save up to do a wedding, and with all the financials that come with going to the emergency room, all the medication, it has put a damper on things. And I know you two are from Texas, so we wanted to help you fulfill your dream of getting married. So when you're ready, we have some kind people in Texas who want to help. Take a look. Hi, Brittany and Rob. It's Raquel from Dallas, Texas, with Arla Floral and Events. And I cannot wait to be a part of your special day. My team and I are so excited to meet you. Brittany and Rob, congratulations. Robin's Brothers Engagement Ring Store would like to give you $1,000 towards your wedding band. I'm Alicia. And I'm Dennis. And we wanted to let you know that the castle at Rockwall is going to provide you with our gorgeous castle for your wedding day. And wedding photography is such an important part of your day. So I'm going to provide you with photography. Congratulations. We're excited to work with you. Hi, Brittany. Congratulations. My name is Jessica. I'm the owner and creative spunk at Drop Visionary Branding. I wanted to personally congratulate you and let you know that we have donated our award-winning videographer to capture all your special moments on your big day at the castle at Rockwall. Can't wait to meet you. Hi, Brittany. This is Wen Wu from House of Wu. We are honored to provide you the wardrobe of your wedding, including the wedding gown of your dream from our Christina Wu collection. Congratulations, Brittany! We're so sorry that this happened to your eye, but thank you for sharing your story. We wish you the best of luck thank with you. everything. Thank you. Your vision, your wedding, and I know Dr. Seal is going to be following along. Thank you, sir, for your help as well. We'll be up.